It's time for number 11 in my series of comic book movie reviews. So will Hollywood take this iconic character and just screw it all up, or will they actually make us believe that a man can fly? I believe. Superman the movie is brought to us by director Richard Donner and stars Christopher Reeve, Marlon Brando, Gene Hackman, and Margot Kidder. This is the first big budget Hollywood comic book movie that they ever made. And of course, Hollywood being Hollywood, they picked probably the most popular comic book character ever, Superman. Now while this isn't the first time that Superman's ever been seen on screen, he actually had a TV show a few decades back from this. It is his first cinematic appearance and let's just get it out of the way now, I love this fucking movie. Probably the biggest thing that I like about this movie over everything else is its sheer optimism about everything. Even in the darkest of times, even in the most screwed up situations in this movie, the movie always has a positive outlook on things. Watching this movie in current day, especially especially just really put a big smile on my face. This movie revels in just being positive. Reeve speaks the words that I fight for truth, justice, and the American way, and it just doesn't come off as corny. It sounds like it. I mean, when I say it, it sounds corny, but when Christopher Reeve Superman says it, you take that shit serious. What we got here is an origin story, and it's done just right. We get just enough time with Clark Kent as a young man to get an idea of who this character is. Then the movie swiftly transfers over to him as an adult, and of course Superman, which is what we're all here to see. The story is always fun, light, and jovial, even when it's dealing with some deeper themes. This is before all that dark and brooding, serious superhero stuff that we have nowadays. This is a very positive look at our world. And honestly, we just don't get that anymore. And while I do like the new versions of superheroes that we have now, there's something about going back to the original Superman and just seeing its positive outlook on just human life that I really miss, especially nowadays. This movie just made me feel really good. Now it's not perfect. The end of this movie is a bit of a mess. And a lot of that has to do with that the movie didn't end the way that Richard Donner wanted it to. Let's go ahead and get it out there now that that whole spinning around the earth the opposite way and turning back time thing is just stupid as hell. I mean like these are some real big leaps that this movie wants you to make. There's some serious suspension of disbelief that you need to have to enjoy the end of this movie. However, as nonsensical and just kind of ridiculous that this whole ending is, there is something about it that is still just really fun. It'll make no fucking sense at all. If Superman did that and was able to turn our world backwards, yeah, everybody here would be fucking dead from that. But it doesn't matter. That's not what it's about. This movie's about having fun. And in the moment when this happens, you're so caught up in it from the performances from Reeve and Kidder and everybody else and just the drama and spectacle of it all, you're along for the ride. You're cool with it. You're like, yeah, okay, yeah, go backwards. Turn the fucking earth backwards, Superman. You do that shit, save her. I mean, after the credits when you come down from the high you're like what the fuck was that that didn't make any sense but in the moment you have a great time and a lot of that is due to the performances especially from reeve holy shit this is such a good performance he's just corny and goofy enough but also serious enough and really puts true emotion into his character that you are on board with him you believe that this is clark kent and more so you believe that this is superman margo kidder is the fast talking lois lane was a great choice as well and of course there is gene hackman as Lex Luthor. Holy shit, I just don't think that the casting gets any better with that one. He is so fantastic and just perfectly cast as Lex Luthor. Now, admittedly, Marlon Brando as Jor-El was just kind of like, whatever. He, he didn't really need to be there. He didn't add a lot, but I will say that seeing as how the guy refused to learn his lines when they were making the movie, and he was always like reading them off cue cards, or they were like on a piece of paper in the bassinet when he's supposed to be talking to Kal-El, and he's reading these lines. I will say that the guy shows that he's got them acting chops. He does a really good job, seeing as how he's reading off cards. And I get why at the time they wanted him in the movie. He was a really big name they wanted a big name to promote this big movie. And he's not bad or anything, but it's not like I felt like, wow, nobody but Marlon Brando could have done that part. Overall, this movie has some fantastically iconic performances for fantastically iconic characters. Now, being a movie from 1978 and being a movie about a person who can fly and shoot lasers out of his eyes and, like, blow cold air and just all the things that Superman does, it's understandable to be worried about the special effects. How do they hold up nowadays? Well, the tagline of the movie was, you'll believe that a man 
and can fly. And honestly, for a movie from 1978, hell, for a movie from nowadays, yes, I believe a man can fly. They did a fantastic job here. Yeah, there are a few shots of Superman flying around that are clearly superimposed on a background or, or like blue screened or something like that. Closer to the end, during the destruction piece of the movie, there's a lot of models used. And while they look good, they are clearly models. And there's a healthy dose of fading and comping shots together. But none of it looks terrible or anything. It all looks really great for the time. But the true star of the show for the special effects in this movie would absolutely be when they have Christopher Reeve's Superman flying practically in camera. Obviously they're using wires because I'm pretty sure Christopher Reeve can't actually fly. Though there are shots in this movie that make me wonder that. But you just can't see those wires and you don't see any harnesses or anything like that. And it's not just them doing that but it's also the movement. The way he moves around the scene when he's flying it just looks like the guy's fucking flying around. It does not look like he's on a harness. It is a fantastic effect even by today's standards. In fact, there are a lot of movies nowadays that come out that this just looks better than. Now maybe not every effect in the movie, but definitely the flying effects. It just looks fantastic. And yes, this movie will make you believe that a man can fly. Now I couldn't get out of here without talking about John Williams' absolutely fantastic score. This is one of the most iconic scores ever made. It's up there with Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and Star Trek. It's it's classic John Williams through and through. You're never going to mistake this for somebody else's score. And it's also one of the most rousing scores you've ever heard. Man, when that music kicks in right before he first takes flight and just like starts with that low rumble where it's like dun 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 and then it just slowly grows until right when he passes the camera flying and it's like dun 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 dun. Holy shit, that is the moment right there, man. Like chills go down your spine. All the hairs come up on your arm. It's just amazing. And yes, while it is kind of a culmination of everything in the film, John Williams' score was a huge contributor to that. Guys, Superman the Movie is a fantastic film. It's a movie that is just filled with optimism and goodwill and just makes you feel good all around. There are bad guys and bad things happen, but the movie just overall has a joy about itself we just don't get anymore. Does the story get a bit ridiculous closer to the end? Absolutely it does, but it is still a fantastically fun ride. It's a fun story, fun performances, fun effects, just fun all around. I don't think I've had a smile on my face so much in one movie in quite a long time. Probably since the last time that I watched this movie. And while some people might say, oh, it's overrated, that's you. But for me, Superman the movie is absolutely 100% without a doubt a unicorn. <laughs> no surprise to me that this movie was great because of course I've seen this movie a whole bunch of times in the past but it has been a while since I saw it and man it just still really holds up and while I've always just kind of thought that everybody's seen Superman the movie I understand the movie's a bit older now like not a bit it's like a lot older now and there's probably a fair amount of people that just never have actually seen this movie or haven't seen it since you were a kid and I implore you go back and watch this movie it is such a fantastic film so if you just want like an overall great movie to watch for the night that's gonna make you feel just really good then check out Superman the movie one night and I think you're gonna have a fantastic time with it. So there it is guys my review of Superman the movie. If you enjoyed and want more content like this hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you want to help out the channel check out my Patreon in the description below and become a jarhead and get some of the awesome benefits to go along with that like these guys and possibly join my top tier and become a bad motherfucker like my man Greg. If you liked what I had to say give me a like if not let me know in the comments below why and as always stay sexy Metropolis. So what's next on the comic book movie review list? Oh, well hell, we're just continuing this story right on, moving right into the next one. And oh yeah, there's also two versions of it, so I guess I'm probably going to do those back to back. Man, I'm just going to be all Supermaned out by the time all this is over. I mean, if that's possible, can you really have too much Superman? Yeah, you can. <laughs>